on the end zone will bring it out. To the 45-yard line of Minnesota, Dennis Gentry, and he started five yards deep. Reggie Rutland finally got him. Outstanding kickoff return, Tim. You see the wedge blocking up front. The special teams do a good job picking off their respective defenders. And Gentry right now uses great open field running ability. Gets that ball upfield. That's a tremendous play. 58 yards, and the Bears with great field position to open the game. Jim Harbaugh, the quarterback. Musker and Anderson, the running back in the eye. Bill Anderson tripped up behind the line of scrimmage, got about two. Good tackle on the play. Chris Dolman making the hit. Jim Harbaugh, the second year man in terms of his uh, full-time career as a Bear quarterback. With this offensive line, Colbert, Bort, Hilgenberg, Thayer, Van Horn, and Jim Thornton at the tight end. Anderson and Muster starting. Davis and Morris, the wide receiver. 30 seconds. And about eight. A long eight, closer to nine. With a good defensive play by Dolman. Upsetting Anderson on the first play. Muster inside to the 40-yard line of the Vikings. Gain of about three, close to four. Henry Thomas. It has a two-game swing. Since they're playing each other in the Central Division, the first of a home-and-home -home matchup for the season. Third down, Harbaugh. All the way inside the 25-yard line to the 24 of Minnesota. Good judgment on Harbaugh's part from a shotgun position, trying to hit the short flat here. Everybody's covered. Now, Floyd Peters, the defensive coordinator of the Vikings, says Jim Harbaugh is like having a 12th player on the field. He can't account for him on a defensive scheme. When he runs, we could be in trouble. So Jim Harbaugh, who does like to run, but is being asked to be a little bit more conservative, found the opening there and gets the first down and has the Bears inside the 25. First down, Chicago, opening drive of the football game, which will be a good one all day long. On second down, Huster inside, batters his way to about the three-yard line. The three lines up now. Third down, they need to get just inside the one for a first down. Cap Boso is in, three, uh, two uh, tight ends in for the Bears, and Huster blasts through into the end zone, touchdown. So Dennis Gentry's 58-yard kickoff return, setting up this opening series. It finished this way. Pratt coming off his left guard. Well-conceived play series, though, Tim. Right from the very off on onset of their offensive drive. Mixing up their plays, first down, throwing the ball, now down inside the one-yard line, running a trap for the touchdown. Colbert was uncovered on the left side. Tim, he has to be an in, an 80 or a 2 number when he's at, that doesn't have the right number to left, left uh, number 20. Trace Armstrong, William Perry, Dan Hampton, and Richard Dent. There is a real rivalry against that Vikings front four. Rivera, Singletary, and Morrissey, the starting linebackers. And Wolford and Simpson on the corner. Sean Gale and Mark Carrier are the safety. Vikings, and that's uh, something that they felt was not done a year ago when he came over in the big trade from Dallas. Wilson on play action. Deep Interception. Lemuel Simpson has the first of two interceptions he is planning for the day. This guy, Irv, is becoming quite a story. Certainly, as he told us before the game, he expected to pick off two interceptions. 
their single coverage there, Wade Wilson trying to flag him off, and Stinson didn't go for it. Stayed with his receiver all the way. Great coverage. Picking off the ball and coming up for the interception. The Bears again putting heat on Wilson. Had to get rid of it. Throwing out of a well. Well, he asked uh, Mike Ditka if he was worried about Stinson making these predictions he's been doing the first three weeks. Said the Bears don't start fires, we put them out. Smokey the Bear puts out fires. And he said if you're big enough to say something, you're big enough to back it up. So far, Stinson is. Anderson on first down. About eight yards. Well, there he is. They call him Lemonhead. Apparently, his former secondary coach, Jim LaRue, gave him that nickname. He doesn't mind it. Lemuel, Lemonhead, close enough. 42-yard line. Thornton, the tight end in motion. They come back the other way with Anderson. And Anderson puts through and dies for a pickup of about three. Over the 45-yard line of the Bears. Top five passes last week and had a touchdown. And second down, he runs out of time. Wilson sacked by Trace Armstrong. The second year man from Florida. Five sacks on the season for this young guy. Trace Armstrong, Tim, is having an outstanding season already in this young year for the Chicago Bears. Here's a little game going. Armstrong going inside. And Fridge, really, 72, takes the offensive tackle outside to allow Armstrong to come in for the sack. So give Armstrong a whole sack and the refrigerator and assist. Near the 35-yard line, about a four-and-a-half-yard pickup. Go third down with the 44 of Minnesota. Gents interception. Lateral the ball forward. Flag is down. The Bears, I believe, maintain possession. Irv, isn't it so frequently? A guy makes a great play, then tries to do too much with it. Gent nearly cops it. He's been causing havoc. He was standing up in the middle linebacker position. Now, there's a defensive end on the pass rush. Bats the ball up, up in the air, makes an interception. That's an illegal forward lateral there, but the plays a big, big role. Buckley's kickoff taken by Walker at the five. Walker to the 46 yard line. Finally stopped by David Tate, and Tate lower to get up and what third and nine yeah gail's got to learn to act a little better but there wasn't much doubt on that wilson under pressure a lot of running room to the 15-yard line wade wilson it is second down for the bears near midfield and he's seven and mark green good piece of running for a chicago first down at the 45 of minnesota the green in for Anderson, the second-year man from Notre Costly penalty against the Vikings at the 40-yard line of Minnesota. Buster and Anderson, the running back. Buster straight ahead. About nine to the 30 of Minnesota before Studwell stopped him. When the Bears come out in this formation and go in motion, they go up a double wing. The inside linebackers then will find themselves oftentimes off flank. They get one-on-one -on -one blocking in here. See Thayer picks up his block, and Muster comes right up the middle for the yardage. Scott Studwell, 35 years of age in his 14th year. He just won't go away, Studwell. <laughs> All these young guys come in and challenge him, and he continues to play solidly. Second and short. Henry Thomas is back in the line after his injury. First down, Muster down to the 23-yard line. The big guy from Stanford, Sudwell again with Joey Browner, and the crowd applauding the effort of Brad Muster. The Bears seem to have everything going for them. When action goes away, this linebacker will chase, but he gets cut off. As a result, Muster's able to come in here and get yarded. Action goes away, he'll chase, cut off, and there he is. Muster upfield for the yardage. 
as Muster is playing in pain from a back injury, playing well. Anderson wide, it's about three. Cincinnati doing a job on New England, and they have one touchdown off a fake field goal in that game. Second down and six, and a big hole. Another bare first down for Brad Muster. Okay. Now what you have, Tim, is a situation where the Bears have had success running straight ahead. Now they come across with a trap. You see number 62 trapping here. Mark Borch picking up his block, and Muster coming through Scott Free. 6'3", 235-pounder running behind this offensive line. This is their sixth year together, and every coach will tell you that uh, that kind of experience together makes a tremendous difference in a line, and they are playing cohesively this afternoon. Zach, who uh, does some of the signaling in when required in uh, discussion there with Greg Landry, the offensive boss, and Mike Kitchen. Glad to see Greg Landry back in full-time action after his bout with viral encephalitis. First down, Bears. Muster. Pulls his way for another three yards to about the seven-yard line. Should drive it down his throat. Eight plays in this drive. Anderson and Muster have been carrying the mail. Anderson forced wide. Touchdown. <laughs> this play, the backside linebacker, when slow goes away, will chase. Now watch what happens. Anderson starts to his right and then breaks back after... And now the medical report on Anderson is a pulled muscle in his lower back. There's a difference than the one he described. This is Boso. Cap Boso Pullman today when Dolman stays over on his own side. Like Dent, Dolman will move around. Breaks one tackle, and he's got the room. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. They're going to spot it at the 24, I believe, for Herschel Walker. Wilson completes to Hassan Jones. Pulled down at the 4-yard line. 29-yard line. Leading 13-9. Anderson close to a 10-yard pickup for an NFL update let's go to our 41 Buster Buster picks up close to nine on the play Joey Browner made the stop deceptively quick for a big man Quick, and he has better, more speed than you think he might have has too, Tim, because he has a long stride. But again, when both backs go away, the backside linebacker Barry is 50, you see, chases. Now, Buster cuts back against the grain, comes up field, and then finally meets Joey Browner, puts the clamps on him. Bears are lucky to find this young man with the retirement of Matt Dewey, and so many distinguished years here as a great pullback for the Bears, and then to be able to follow him with Buster, a really different shape and style, but a good one. Buster again. Big hole for him. First down to the 43-yard line, and the crowd recognizing his effort, and that of the offensive line, creating huge holes for him. You hit the nail right on the head, Tim. The offensive line is doing a tremendous job up there. Keith Van Horn and, and Thayer right now create the hole for Muster to come through, breaking off his right guard for the first down. They've done a just tremendous job up there against an outstanding defensive line. Again, what we're seeing in this series, Irv, the, the kind of game plan that Mike Ditka wanted to see. A good running attack that moves the ball, doesn't put a lot of pressure on Harbaugh to make completions for first down. Pickup of about five for Anderson. 
And Joey, look how wide that offensive line for the Bears is now split, allowing them to be able to run inside the tackle. Muster inside the 25 in Minnesota. Sensational job by the Bear offense, but again, that line taking real big splits. Muster wants to come up inside and finds everything shut down and has enough speed to sprint outside to turn up field and make a nice gain out of this play. Again, Joey Browner making the tackle. 11 yard gain, 62 on the day for Muster on nine carries. Morris wide left. Wendell Davis right. Anderson dipsy doodling inside the 20 yard line. And applied them like they do sacks for defensive linemen that uh, their work might be better measured. Muster. With a good hole out the right side. Gets down to the 15 yard line. Tim, this is the first down Bears on their own 30 yard line. Will Anderson back inside for about three yards. Muster and Anderson continue at the running back position. Muster, quick opener for about four, maybe five yards up near the 40-yard line. Real quick hitter. Hitter. Tim, some, some teams call it an offset eye with Muster set up at the, the uh, halfback position. And Anderson in the fullback. See, Anderson goes away, and they come back and trap back the opposite direction. And Muster comes out of their clean. It's an old single wing play. Bullington on the stop, number 29. And that's better. Well, he's supposed to get a certain amount of rest each day, so he gets a long football game. Maybe things will start to wind down for him in the fourth quarter. Harbaugh has a first down and slides into midfield. Going a good speed of foot. Okay. Okay. Again, the old bootleg. Harbaugh thinking as if the play is going to go away. Merrill is responsible for containing on the back side and doesn't do so, so he escapes for a huge game. Third period. We're now just underway in the final period by an overtime. Escapes from Sudwell and picks up about four yards into Viking territory. And the defense hasn't been in position yet, in that kind of position to do that today. You're right. They've got big play guys on both sides of the ball. Muster. But this is what's killing them so far. I mean, the Bears just keeping the football, using up the clock. First down. Henry well, Thomas drove them up. Okay. What's happening, though, Tim, is that the backs are starting to run inside, and then they skip outside. Now, with most of the Viking linebackers, what they do on the backside, when both backs go away, the backside linebacker will kind of close down. He's supposed to be responsible for containment if they come back, but he closes down. And what the Bears are doing is they're allowing him to close down and then roll around him. Now, it's been working effectively. We've seen Muster and Anderson both get outside today. First down, 41-yard line of the Vikings. about three yards behind the left guard. Bort allegedly uh, refuted to have. He said uh, no more than he said, let him try and play defense. Anderson for about four yards. If they make it, give the offensive line the game ball. In the I formation, Muster is a lead back. two-yard line, a nifty bit of running by Neil Anderson. Tim, this is a case where everybody is singled up one-on-one. -on -one. Each offensive lineman is responsible for the defender over his head. Now, Neil Anderson, after he takes his toss, knows the middle linebacker is going to be the first person to confront him. And he simply beats the middle linebacker one-on-one. -on -one. Scott Sudwell couldn't come up with the play. Can fire up the Vikings offense. It is certainly well rested. Play action. 
complete. Wilson finding an open man against the coverage of the cornerback Donnell Wolford. Complete. Hassan Jones. First down Vikings to the 27 yard line of Chicago. Or is it a first down? Let's see. It's, it's going to be close. Hey, down by seven. Wilson for Jones. Touchdown. Hassan Jones. Wide open. Got away from Donnell Wolford. Craig Wolfie, pardon me. Ron's brother. And Taylor's uh, coming in later. Did a great job there. First down, Bears. Harbaugh under pressure. Man open on the sideline is Quentin Smith, number 85. The rookie wide receiver from Kansas. Leg into a football. They need a play on third down. Wilson, a lot of time. Now runs out of it. And he is dropped. Richard Dent got him. The coverage downfield was very good by the Bears. And Wilson initially had enough time to throw. One timeout remaining for each team with 30 seconds left. And the Vikings punny is fumbled by Newsom. The Bears will have first down at the 38-yard line. 25 seconds to play. Chicago Bears break the tie. Four seconds left in the game. A 52-yard field goal by Kevin Butler. And the Bears go to 3-0. The Vikings continue to struggle on the road. Didn't think the turnovers are good, but in Chicago, even when they bent Jim Harbaugh to their will, they failed to produce crucial takeaways. The Vikings were hampered by their lack of soft hands, and they were hurt by a Bears defense ranked number one in the league when the game began. Defense and the deft footwork of Neil Anderson provided Chicago with a 13-3 advantage. Harbaugh takes the snap, gives it off to Anderson, starting right, puts it back to the left, he's got it, touchdown! The Vikings, however, came back to tie with less than two minutes remaining. Wilson back looking to throw, pulls the trigger toward the end zone. Touchdown, Hassan Jones! But Jerry Burns' team was finally victimized by a 52-yard field goal with four seconds left, courtesy of Kevin Butler. This for the ball game. Arm extended, waiting for the snap. Here it is. Placement made, the kick by Butler. What does the NFL have in common with a beauty pageant? Both require talent and good physique. But the difference, as the Bears and several other teams prove, is that in the NFL, you can be ugly and still be crowned a winner. The Chicago Bears.